What's up guys, welcome to your 107th Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to learn about in this tutorial is visibility, for the most part, for XML layout, such as a button. Um, let's say, for this example, we're going to have a button uh, where the user can save the data, but first we want to make sure they have an actual pa or a file name. Um, so we don't want them to allow us to, to save anything until they create the file name. So that's the kind of concept we're going to go through in this tutorial. It's going to be pretty simple for the most part. Um, since everything's pretty basic. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a, uh, let's go with a text view. I'm just trying to gather my thoughts here, sorry. And hey, uh, edit text. And then let's say a button. Two buttons. Let's do two buttons. So one button, two buttons. Now let's just change some stuff around. First edit text that we just have, we're going to say um, save as something like that and for edit text we're gonna change this to ET save as and uh, for button we're gonna say confirm and for a first button anyways and our second button we're gonna say save for the text and then let's change our references for those buttons to confirm save as something like that just trying to make sure we don't have the same references that we've used before and also save save file there we go so let's check this out everything's looking pretty good and what's gonna happen is when they click this confirm button then this save button will appear. So first we need to kind of disable uh, the save button actually being visible to start with. So it's pretty simple, I'm just gonna format right there for you guys. And Android, all you do is Android and then visibility. And let's see what options we have. I believe it's visible and invisible. So we're just gonna hit equals, invisible. Uh, gone would be like it's destroyed. So after, if you guys, uh, just want this button to be clicked once and then destroy it uh, you want to use the gone um, which wouldn't really make too much sense in the XML layout it's more um, kind of the same reference as we do in Java so let's check that out our save button isn't there so now let's go over to our external data um, Java file and just kind of set up some of those references so we had let's make make everything accessible here for a whole class or edit text and we're gonna have this save file uh, two buttons confirm and save Just import both those and let's set up our references now our confirm equals button. See, you know, I, I always debate if I should do this uh, before the tutorials or if you guys actually like me s setting this up so you don't have to pause the video and catch up. So, and I can't really get any feedback from you because, you know, it's not going to be, it's not uh, going to be published until I'm done with the whole series. So, Let's do a button and then what was it? And oh yeah. And since we don't have our references available yet, we gotta go over to our XML file, save it. I always forget that. So now button confirm, save as. For confirm button and for save button, we're gonna have this again equal just button find view by ID. And it is button save file. Now let's add our on click listeners. To both our save and our confirm. Implement. See at one point I bet you guys thought the button thing was kind of difficult, but now you're, sh you're pros. You're showing everybody. Um, and uh, 
So once we get our on-click listener set up, let's go down here and set up a simple switching case that we're also familiar familiar with. Um, get ID. All right, and now we're ready to go for a tutorial uh, with the Java side of the visibility thing. So what we're gonna do is, again, our save button is invisible to start with. So when they do the click, which goes through this on-click method, in this case, confirm click, all we're gonna do is we're gonna change the visibility of our button in this tutorial anyway. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say our save button dot uh, set visibility and this and what we want to set this equal to is from the view class we're going to say view dot and uh, we have all these options such as the gone one I was telling you guys about earlier there's invisible if we want to make it invisible and there's visible so we're going to click visible and we're good to go let's just check this out make sure everything worked I know it's a pretty simple tutorial but uh, we got some stuff set up for um, the future always think about the future guys alright so let's check I clipped the video because um, my emulator wasn't started external data no save button um, and when we hit confirm BAM our save buttons available so I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial where we'll do some more sweet stuff and have a good one peace